Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem, and this is that. Really? It's disastrous for a president to, even say to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, like fire. A terrible <laughs> strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities, and quite frankly, Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news, and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Welcome to The Advocate. Undoubtedly, the celebrations of Christmas are still in the air, and the new year is already upon us. And we, the advocates, are keeping things seasoned and spicy. Sandra is going to do some accounting in search of our national returns on investment, that is to say. Um, she's not laughing to the bank. Saidi, on the other hand, is reflecting and projecting. I guess the turn of the year has this effect. Yet it seems to come up with more questions than answers. Can I? Also takes us back to law school. For some of us, it's a first. Mine, never been. She's advocating against a certain pattern of mischief. Chuka is going no holds barred against the NTA. Oh. It is at this point that I do a disclaimer and say that the views of Chuka are the views of Chuka, and he has never been one to follow the pack. I doubtlessly will be staring the hornet's nest. Um, I, I will take on a certain notorious matter to do with Netflix and the first temptation of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hmm. Pretty heavy stuff. So let's wait and see after the break. Time for another disclaimer. The views of this Emeka are entirely his views. That is unless others agree with me. On Netflix, religion and censorship. Christmas is a season of love and thanksgiving when we recall the birth of Jesus Christ, who Christians believe is the son of the almighty God and part of the Holy Trinity. Yet in this season, a new movie from producers in Brazil is sparking fresh controversy this Christmas um, for the, the global video streaming uh, giant Netflix over its decision to include the movie as part of its Christmas special. The movie is called The First Temptation of Jesus Christ, produced by you know, a little known Brazilian production company. And this movie has already found a lot of controversy for, for subscribers, not just subscribers of Netflix, but in fact, over two million signatures have been out calling for the ban um, of the movie and indeed the cancellation, because we're now in a cancel culture of Netflix. Even here in Nigeria, um, where Pastor Johnson Suleiman has been asking worshippers to cancel their Netflix subscription, while some even have called for protests across all Netflix business offices. Now, the production, although a satire, continues to elicit heated debate. And I thought to share my perspective regarding the wider subject of art, religion, and censorship in an increasingly digitally connected world. The first thing is the re recognition that Netflix is not a traditional broadcaster the way we used to know broadcasters in those days. Now, this movie that's available on Netflix pl platform is just like thousands of other movies. It is not a scheduled broadcast. And, and Netflix, as you know, is an on-demand video library. That's essentially what it is. It requires you to actually select the said movie from a menu of thousands of other movies. It is not aired in that sense. As some people say, it's been aired on Netflix. It wasn't produced by Netflix. It was acquired by it, nonetheless. And it does not take up any scarce spectrum. So it's not the typical like NTA or AIT or anything as we know it. But I missed the call to cancel Netflix. My advocacy is something somewhat more nuanced which is important for me is that we, we, we see the, the different significance over centuries that art and science have always conflicted with religious beliefs. That, that is a fact. But indeed, without art and science, humanity as we know it today will remain backwards and indeed very brutish. You know, I recall at the time, you know, reading through history when Copernicus and Galileo said that, um, you know, that the earth wasn't actually the center of the universe, and um, he was, Galileo was put through the Inquisition. So while we as Christians have the right to express our anger about the movie, as some have even called for his ban, let us not push boundaries towards extremism. Because the platform has added this movie 
on his catalog doesn't mean that it is satanic. I agree the movie pushes some buttons, but that is art and that is life. People tend to forget that artists, especially in these days, will purposely contrive controversy because, according to them, controversy sells. But I will say this, though, to close. Even the Bible recognizes the primacy of free choice. The apple, that apple we read about in the Genesis, in the book of Genesis, was actually in the Garden of Eden, right there, the bad apple. And by the way, for those of us who are uh, more of faith, let's remember that when Jesus walked the street of Jerus Jerusalem, he was called even worse names. Indeed, the Lord Jesus Christ that we worship was indeed crucified. He died and was buried and he rose again. And today is a symbol of sal our salvation, at least for Christians all across the world. I think Jesus Christ will be all right, with or without our help. It is us that need his help. Can I jump into this one? Yeah. Well, you want <laughs> Let jump. me jump in. Yeah. I want to jump first. I think you, know, you, you made a point, and I tried to make uh, make yourself. You said without art and science, um, humanity would be brutish. And then you gave the example of Galileo. I mean, what comes, in, what comes to my mind is that, mm -hmm. in as much as art could sometimes lead the way in terms of giving people a vision of something they may have missed yeah. because they were having a religious interpretation of the truth, um, so has religion, you know, vice versa. I think my understanding is that, and I you know, stand to be corrected, there was a perception that the earth was flat. And it was through a Christian understanding, because there's a verse in Isaiah that says, God sits above the circle of the earth, that one of the explorers pursued that, and against the odds, discovered that the earth wasn't flat. I don't think it's exclusive to the arts that people have seen progression. Um, what I, my offense, in a way, because I feel the film is offensive, is that I think they're cowardly and they're have, have you watched I've the movie? Come, no, no, I've read enough. I've read around. No, I'm so, coming, but wait, you haven't on, watched the hold movie. Hold on, hold That's on. That's my point. No, 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 but those who have have quoted <laughs> yes. bits of it, which I took the time to read up. A lot of people, I would tell you that. I will uh, watch the movie. Ninety percent of people who've talked about it have not seen it. No, I'm not interested in seeing it yeah. because oh, good. because in the, the, re the reason I'm saying that is. I just feel that it's exploitative and it's provocative. Freedom of speech doesn't mean you should go trying to offend people. You release this movie at Christmas time when you know people are wanting to give respect to, to God because Jesus is God to those who believe. And you want to now demean him and make him in your own image the way you feel. And you're ridiculing the image that people respect and revere. Just to make a point, you know, when I went to film school, um, because I find there's a lot of bias in the way people interpret truth. When I went to film school, I noticed that a lot of the directors, the filmmakers, they were only interested in making the world in their own image. So maybe they smoked. So every time they want to express someone who's stressed, the person has to be smoking, because that's their interpretation of tense, tension. I don't have a problem if people want to be gay. But is there a But my problem is, is when it, they want to bring gay, gay, that, gay vision into the Christian faith. Why oh, not but, have but your so own... So a Christian cannot be gay. Can I ask that question? That it's not, no, 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 it's, it's not mutually compatible. Oh, no, no, with the I, faith, I yes. disagree with you. Because no, even the Pope know. recognizes recently yeah, no, 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 in some of his No, 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 the Pope is not necessarily the measure of truth. No, so let's, let's not I get mean, into that. What I'm saying is that do. don't go and try yeah. and castigate. How? No, no, let's leave that because no, it'll take a while to dissect. My issue is really that, leave, I'm sorry, Chuka, I want to land this point. My issue is really that you want to provoke, you want to promote something you believe. Go ahead. But if you come to start trying to encroach on what other people believe and demean it, know that it, it works both ways. Because if people go and now show you another version of what you think is true, you will call it gay bashing. So that's where I see there's hypocrisy. You don't want people to, to throw stones at you, but you want to throw stones at them. I think no, it's, it's slightly, no, 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 slightly imbalanced there. I don't think they don't want you to fight back. And I don't think they were fighting you. You see, okay. the problem is this. You are seeing it from your point of view. Okay. What's so wrong with somebody? I don't know. I've not watched this film, so I can't say much. But it seems it's all about Jesus being gay. Yes. Uh -huh. It's not let's, actually Jesus being gay. Or what? It's a character. Um, the, character of, the character of Jesus mm -hmm. brings someone home who is actually the devil, who now implies at dinner that uh, Jesus is his lover. Yes. Right. Right. It's right. not that Jesus is. So that was the first temptation that, mm. look, I am. This is my lover. Yes, that's, that's right. actually the, okay. the yes. thing where people yes. now imply, therefore, that Jesus is gay. Ah, Not that he I is see. gay, and actually. Yes, but yes. they said Mary also but, is but weed smoking. Yeah, but like, you see, um, but see uh, okay. weed smoking. The thing, is, the thing is this. Mm -hmm. you, you, in the same way you're saying that they are provocative, I don't mm -hmm. think they are. Okay. They are not because it's a free world. 
and it's free, and, yeah. and, and, and it's free for you not to watch that film. It's mm -hmm. so free that you can actually miss that film completely. Like now, I haven't watched it. I can decide not to watch it. Uh, I probably will anyway to find out what it's all about. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I, I will, and I'm thinking you know, of, I, I'm I think, thinking no, of no, subscribing from Netflix. No, wow. that is that. No, but just to know that that's that's, 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 that's within my rights. No, no, no. no, no it's actually you can within your rights. I can exercise that freedom. But I'll tell you something though. You're just choosing a life that you want. Mm. I think that life is about you and everybody else so you can always make informed decisions. No, but so why how would you get, ever make informed get decisions to encroach on if all my you believe liberty in, and then I'm here to tolerate How have they encroached on your liberty? Like, like on you. But your belief is your belief. And that's the point I tried to They've make at, towards to the end there, that the, the so-called no, attitudes that Christ that we know was bashed. Brutalized, called names, all mm -hmm. kinds of things, Correct. lover of whores, yes. um, um, all kinds of names, even killed. Yes. Yet his image, yet yes. his philosophy, yet the, the religion that he birthed has transcended, we, has that, transcended yes. that. Yes. So he's stronger, um, he's more powerful than, that's my opinion, that we are trying to bottle Christ yeah. in our own he image need us with our own so, prejudices. No, no, no. So let me come in here. Yeah, if please you try do. to portray a character, let's say for instance your yeah. mom who you love yes. so deeply and um, there is a movie about her or there's something that, um, you know, she was being accused of something that she did not do. You know she didn't do. Yes. Would you pick up offense at that? Of course I'll be. If, if so that is, that is just, that that is just exactly, exactly how But there's a limit. There's a limit, yeah. there's a limit yeah. for what you do. But I don't think that you're going to sit down and do nothing. I don't think you're going to sit down and do nothing. The second thing is that, that's the second point I'm making. In a digital world, you have the right. They're not putting this thing, this thing is not taking part of your... Yes. Your own resource. Yeah. It's, it's a choice. choice yeah. Yeah. And there's unlimited fare. Mm. I mean, there's also the, the Mel Gibson movie. Yeah. Uh, there's the Martin uh, Scorsese uh, movie. Yeah. There are the the, the hundreds well, of you know, other movies. They normally movies. don't go after Islamic faith. That's why I say that. No, it doesn't matter. Movie. It doesn't no, they, matter. No, it doesn't matter. I absolutely don't think the so. Christian faith because, because they the come from a Western target. civilization. No, That's no, where they make it. No, 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 no. So it doesn't matter. They're afraid to go after that because Netflix wouldn't touch it if they tried. So it's cowardly. I think they're just going after a soft target. Because you don't know that. I do because you don't see as much. I'd like to hear what you think. Yes, please. For me, I think, you see, religion is very personal, really. And what we're doing now, what I hear you talking here is basically fighting God's fight. Mm -hmm. right? Thank you. I say that, think you should. No, that's it. Mm. It's very personal. Mm. It's, you know, you and God. God is very capable of fighting. He's battle. Thank you. If you sin, and that's why there's sin and there's consequence, consequences for sin, mm. right? You cannot define for me what your sins or my sins no. will be, right? So if, you know, you have producers who've, come up with this program, there's consequence for them of course eventually, there is. right? Mm -hmm. But it's not for you to do. remember that verse from the Bible that Jesus said, if you without the sin cast the first stone. stone. Right? Mm -hmm. So why why so, so I guess we don't need we don't need we don't need police, we don't need institutions that judge people. I think that at the end of the day, no, this because it's, 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 it's a deeply personal it's a deeply personal thing in religion. Society, and it affects morality. Opinion. We can't just think, act as if we will leave it to God. I think people just are just like we don't leave other things to opinion. So you have a right to your religion. Oh, I agree. I absolutely if you pick offense at something that you don't agree with, I think you're absolutely right to do If my mother but going back to you, if my mother was such a public figure Correct. And had the authority that people will choose to make movies out of her. Mm -hmm. They choose a side. It is their, it is their opinion of her. Yes. I will be offended because that's not the image that I know. Correct. But that doesn't deny them the, the right yes. to make a, a movie. Correct. If it comes to slander yeah. or they're saying things that are patently untrue, then I will take of them course, to court. that's what this is. This is blasphemy. No, you do. Me, you were me, there. Me, no, it's blasphemy. But, but it's me, satire. Me, no, it's not satire. It's satire. No, 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 it doesn't make it acceptable. It's, 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 it's blasphemy. Okay. Okay. And there must be censorship. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying right. there's no right. censorship. Right. Okay. You know, like, like I said at the beginning, um, I know this is a touchy point. Um, it touches everyone. Um, so I hope some of our viewers haven't turned, tuned out of in protest. Um, but this is what we do here. We, we push the envelope sometimes because we're advocating for a better society. And, as, and this is just about tolerance as it is about change. Please keep the channels of communications open. After the break, Sandra appears to be pushing that our vertical channel of communications essentially be made more horizontal. <laughs>